Have you ever been an answer to prayer? You can be by contributing to our missions trip to Scandinavia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To those of you who have already contributed, you have given us enough to secure the Nordic Black Theater in Oslo, Norway, where I'll be performing my one-man play, I Dreamed I Was Free, that tells the story of abolitionist John Woolman. He was a Quaker who spoke out against slavery over a century before the Civil War in America. Now, we have come into contact with leadership at house churches throughout Scandinavia. These are churches that do not have the funds to have us travel all about Scandinavia. And so we need to raise the rest of our support. We would count it answered prayer if you would give toward this mission. Have you ever been an answer to prayer? That's actually the question I asked of a gentleman who brought this cap off of my train. I came down here to Grand Central. I realized I'd left my hat on the train, and this kind gentleman got it for me. And as he came off the, the train with my hat, I said, have you ever been an answer to prayer? And he said, well, I guess I was today. And I said, you were. Who can I thank? Who can I tell about this good deed you just did? And he said, I don't know. So I said, well, let me tell the mediator. So I said, Lord, thank you for sending this man to get my hat. Thank you that he blessed me. Would you bless him? Uh, bless him with a closer relationship with you. May he sense your presence. Honor the prayers, the deepest prayers that you have placed on his heart. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. And then I asked him if I could give him a tip, and he said no. So I gave him my favorite link to my performance of another one of my one-man plays, Beyond the Chariots, a performance I did at the Singapore Expo. And so it dawned on me that this is my very favorite way to share the gospel because it's embedded in the play. The main character falls to his knees and calls out, Jesus! He invites people to give their lives to Jesus like he did. And afterwards, a pastor presents the gospel and invites people forward for prayer. And out of the 5,600 Singaporeans, dozens of them come down to the altar for prayer. And so I want to share this with you, everyone who has already contributed and everyone who contributes now until September 10th. I'm going to send you this link so you can give it to waiters and waitresses on top of a generous tip. Don't be that person who leaves a tract and no tip. And at hotels, wherever you want, to nice people that you meet that do good for you. And so I just pray that uh, you will be an answer to prayer. Thank you so much.